John, thank you for taking time. Thank you for taking time to uh, share a story behind your amazing Woody. To share this with me, to share the ama amazing belt, amazing uh, restoration of this exactly because that's something special. What was the story behind? How did you come across get there with the idea? Yes. Why Woody? I mean, I know you spent uh, your your childhood and teenage years in uh, California, yes? Yes, in adult years. I had left there at 65 years old. And it wasn't that I always wanted a Woody from the early days. I always had like 57 Chevy station wagons okay. and stuff like that. So an opportunity arose and I was looking, kind of looking for one and a police officer, a friend of mine, says, oh, his sergeant has one in his garage. So I went, went, I called up the sergeant and he said, oh, I can't do it yet. He says, it's just buried under a bunch of crap. And it's, he says, I got it apart and this and that. And so about a month or so later, he calls me back and says, okay, come over and look at it. So the thing, when I get over there, I figure it just had the motor transmission stuff pulled out of it. Yeah. Oh, no. It was just a rolling chassis with a floor on it. Wow. All the wood was apart. Uh, there was nothing there. And it had a bunch of extra parts and okay. stuff he'd been collecting so that he could restore it. But then... Times change, you know, we bought a sailboat, well that kind of uh -huh. took care of the car. And he's building a new house and stuff. The kids going to college, so it was done, so I bought it. Uh -huh. I spent about four years, roughly, three and a half years. Restoring. Re yeah, putting it back together to make it the way I wanted it. Yeah. I did not want it to look like a brand new car, I wanted it to look like an old one. Yes. So I only replaced wood that I had to replace, repaired a lot of stuff on it, wood on it. It was a rust-free car out of California. Yeah. It was just a beautiful start. But uh, four years, a lot of work, a lot of work to chassis. Uh, was the was this was was the idea uh, background of the engine? What do you have in it? Right now. The flathead V8, old stock flathead V8 in it. Uh -huh. I put it back pretty much original. It just got surfboards and stickers and stuff on it. Yeah, and which is bringing the that, California vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, it, it's just a, pretty much a stock. Uh -huh. Stock car. What do you would say about uh, restoring the wood exactly? Because that's what makes the car so special and. How much wood did you put in it, and what kind of wood exactly we have there? Okay, it's, it's maple, and the insert panels are mahogany. All right. So there's a lot of hours in that. I had a friend that helped me. Yes. He's a cabinet type. He's retired telephone company guy, but he had a cabinet shop at his house. He stored right. furniture. So he fixed a bunch of finger joints and fixed stuff for me, and then I put it back together. Aha. Uh -huh. But would you say that that's what exactly took the most of the work restoring this car, or you would say that I was it's, half of this work about was chassis half, and half of half and half? Uh -huh. The chassis was was its own project, and then the sheet metal was another. Then the top was another one. You know, yes. so the wood was probably the major part of it. I'm a body man by trade, so the. Okay. The metal part of it was the easy part for me. Yes. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a cabinet guy. I mean, the quality of the wood is spectacular. When we were taking a ride, uh, I was watching the ceiling and, and, and outside and inside. It's just amazing. And the condition of that. Talking about condition, how easy is to exactly keep that kind of car in, in the regular uh, life? I mean, how to store how to drive, you know, you have different conditions, rain, yeah. sun. I, I drive all my cars, doesn't matter, rain or shine, you know. Alright, so you're a daily driver. And if it gets wet, it gets wet, you know, it's not yeah. going to shrink. Yeah. 
you know, and they don't swell up that much of these wooden ones. Uh -huh. um, it just, I just drive them. You know, that's what they're for. If they just sit in the garage and you don't, and you just look at them, that's yeah. no good. Yeah. You know, I got four cars. You know, three of them run, <laughs> and so I kind of alternate them around. You know, and yeah. I don't ride a, I don't ride a bikes as much as I should. But uh -huh. yeah, I see you have a nice collection of bikes you know, too. But everything I have here came from California. I didn't leave a thing. Uh -huh. and I brought surfboards, I brought wetsuits, I brought snowboard, old vintage snowboard stuff. I brought, you know, everything I had in the garage came. Nice. 